delicious, invigorating. Everybody watching tonight, we've got a very, very special guest Happening that has just walked in the studio. This is our camper studio, and I haven't even got a chance yet to say congratulations to him. I'm going to do it now. Sure. Good job, Tio. You're live on Ike Live. Yeah. Say hi to I knew it. <laughs> yeah. we, we knew it. We knew it. Dude. I've seen you, I've watched you win tournaments before or yeah. come close to winning. You looked more relaxed today because I watched the whole thing live. Dude, you looked very relaxed. I've never seen you that, you, you, you didn't even no. look, were you, were you relaxed or you, you were just hiding it well? No, I was just a normal. Just you? normal? You, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like you. So. <laughs> Has it sunk in that you won? Uh, just a little bit, maybe. Yeah. But it's such a so long time, you know, like more than ten years. I'm gonna win it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, feels it, good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It, it's so, when I thank you. Before I won the Delaware last year, it, it or two years ago, it was a long time before I won one. So it it feels good when you win again. You know, now I know uh, before you got here tonight, Tio, we had a lot of our uh, listeners and callers um, wanted to know more about that swim bait. And I know about it because yeah. I talk to Steve a lot. Sure. But do you want to talk a little bit about that swim bait and how, sure. how special it is? Well, uh, that's uh, Bass Pro Shops, uh, XPS swim bait. Uh, they discontinued like uh, more than 10 years ago, I yeah. think. Yeah, long time ago. Yeah. Me and Fred Lobanis uh, bought it like uh, they were like a dollar ninety nine. Everything was for sale. Like Clear and sell. Two hundred fifty <laughs> baits all in the wall. Wow. In, you know the cargo. Wow. Wall. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I got about hundred. He got like hundred fifty. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, so everybody watching, if you want those swim baits, you know where to get them. <laughs> T.O. Freddy Boom Boom have mass supply of them, so you got to track them down. I, I, I got 100 bucks. How many can I get? <laughs> he wants to buy them for 100 bucks. Uh, that's not for sale right now. <laughs> Not until the end of the year. Now, now uh, what was the top order? That's the other question we kept having, because you know, a lot of us, like even me when I was watching it, yeah. I could tell that it was a big walking plug what, is, what kind of top water was actually, it actually it's a super spook super spook okay it's classic bait it. yeah it is yeah classic bait mm -hmm. that's you, awesome you know what i noticed when you were working at to two things that that struck me is number one you were using braid you could hear it and number mm -hmm. two you were burning that sucker was, was that key you mean i mean moving fast yeah moving it very very fast very rapid uh, well, I saw that's uh, the normal way to fish it for that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Uh, seems like you're taking a shot at me about asking that question. Floats there on top of water. Well, you you worked. I I just you know you walk the dog fast, work it slow. You were really working it very very fast, and uh, in, in in the scheme of things, obviously that was key. Uh, but uh, I was surprised to see that, and you like you to you like to use braid when you're doing it. Uh, a lot of people have converted to braided line for topwater fishing. Uh, I guess you have too. Yeah, I do. I, I make a super super long cast. I, mean, I want to have a good hook set, and uh, the braid is the only line I use. I noticed I that about the long casts. You were coming off your feet to make those casts. I mean, you were really lobbing that swim bait and that spook as far as you possibly could. Uh, I get because of the shallow water, I guess. Well, uh, the farthest you can cast is better to less fishing to the. I mean, to the fish, the pressure. I mean, you don't want to see the boats and the stuff. Plus, uh, you know, I mean, just uh, in a way, water is a little cleaner, so uh, it just uh, that's what you have to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, uh, you know, the other thing that amazed me about about your win this week was I pretty much uh, wrote the Deca Decatur Flats off, you know. Like, I practiced on the Decatur Flats the second day 
for about two hours. Mm -hmm. And I went out there and idled around and I fished some shell beds that I knew about that were deeper mm -hmm. and I didn't see any grass. And I remember, and Pete, you'll appreciate this because you've, you've fished here before. I came off pad and it was calm that day, the second day of practice. And I looked out into Cater Flats and I didn't see another boat out there. <laughs> yeah. And you know, normally on the Decatur Flats, that's like the Arkendale Flats on the Potomac. You can see boats, hundreds of boats for miles. Everybody's I didn't there. See, yeah, I didn't see a single boat on Decatur Flats and wow. I was so freaked out. I just kind of wrote it off. Why didn't you write the flat? Why did, why did it, st was it still a player in your mind? Well, to me, uh, well, actually I started Monday morning just to, uh, you know, across the boat ramp. Then yeah. my, my, like fifth cast, I had a five pound on it. Wow. Then I, I went to another share bed to check the, the spot I know. Then uh, I had a couple more bites, but it was not big. I shook up, but I came back about 1130. I shook up six pounder, the, the four pounder with it. But uh, you never know, you know. I mean, right. like I said, no boats, no grass, or just yeah. nothing out there. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, I, I, Second day, the Saturday day of practice, I, I, I went to the all over the places, but uh, still I don't get any big bite. Yeah. Know? So I said, I'm going to start it first thing in the morning and the first day of the tournament. Yeah. But uh, uh, I spent two hours, you know, a couple of shadow beds, nothing. There's no bite. So it was, it was a little hit and a miss. Usually those shadow bed, if you find one, you catch about 22 pounder. Yeah, for some reason, loaded. this yeah. time, I only get two or three bites, but those, like, a four to six pounder. They're all giants. Yeah. Yeah. That's why a lot of people missed it. Yeah. You know, because timing and not very many bites. Right. But that, that was the right fish to win the tournament. This was supposed That's to be the trivia question for tonight, but because we uh, we don't have an IM board working tonight, I'm going to ask it to you guys directly. I want you guys, this is a very difficult trivia question, especially for you two. I want you to name <laughs> why. What I talk about every time. Well, I'll tell you. You'll you'll realize when I ask the question. And I want you to name two elite anglers that have won on the amateur side of Bassmaster tournaments. I know two. I know. You mean as co-anglers? <laughs> as as amateurs or co-anglers? Yep. Well, that's goddamn yeah. easy. Well, I know. Who? Yeah, what's the I answer? Do. I this did. guy and this guy. They're both on the screen. <laughs> 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 wow, good question. Hot, hearty, delicious, invigorating.